I'm Barney Dorman from The Chimney Company and today I'm going to tell you how to prevent chimney fires. The main reason for chimney fires is a lack of sweeping. You need to remember to have your chimney swept at least once a year, if not twice a year, if you're a very high user of your fire. What can happen is where you burn wood, you're not sweeping it regularly, soot builds up and causes creosote. Both soot and creosote are flammable materials, and so just one spark from an open fire or from your stove will potentially set this on fire and is the biggest cause of chimney fires. One thing you can also do to inspect the inside of your chimney is by using a CCTV survey. When this is conducted, you can see any problem areas where there may be a large buildup of creosote. Typically, this is on the 45 degree bends inside the flue, which are hard to sweep. And we find cases all the time where there's a large layer of this that needs to be broken away. Once this is taken away, that also reduces any chance of a chimney fire. Now with a wood burning stove, whether you've lined the stove or you just got it with a flue pipe going through a register plate, what can happen is if you slumber your stove, basically you're not burning off the smoke and these flue gases will travel much slower through the chimney or through the lining system and will cause creosote build up. This is because you're not actually burning off the smoke from inside the stove. So key factor on this point is just to make sure that you always have your vents as wide open as possible so you're having as much oxygen into the stove and in turn burning off that smoke. Another thing that can help with wood burning stoves um, is to have a, a stove thermometer. And on those you can see that there's an ideal running temperature which is about 230 degrees and above. And the upper limit of 480 degrees and beyond is you're burning your stove too hot. So in regards to slumbering, if you're burning less than that 230 degrees centigrade, you will not be burning off the smoke and causing creosote. So by having a stove thermometer, you'll be able to see exactly where you're burning and what you need to do to reduce it. Before your chimney sweep comes, the best thing to do is to use a creosote cleaner. These are logs that you would burn every 60 fires. Simply burn one of those using kindling and a decent fire lighter. Let it burn through. And what you'll be doing is just preparing the flue or the chimney in advance of your chimney sweep coming around and cleaning it out. Once they've cleaned that out, you would have reduced any chance of creosote and therefore also reduce any chance of a chimney fire. We often get asked, can we burn pallets? I've got also a big lump of wood that I'm hoping to burn. Now the answer to all these things is if it has a plastic content on it, then you can't burn it. So pallets have this, old fence posts have that, and the best thing is just not to burn them. If you do, they leave a residue on the inside of your chimney. This material also will deteriorate the flexible lining system and will also shorten the lifespan of it. So just don't burn anything that isn't kiln dried or well seasoned woods in an open fire or in a stove. And that's how to prevent chimney fires. <laughs>